So had an, <laughs> enough enough time had enough time had passed, and it just felt right to do it all again. It did. I mean, I, I we had a booking agent in the United States who called me out of the blue and said, "Can I submit you guys for festivals?" And I said, "We haven't been a you know this. We haven't been a band." And she said, "There's interest." And I said, "Uh, shit." okay, I guess um, I'll call everybody. And so I did, you know, normally that's kind of a manager's job to do that, but we don't have a, mm. we didn't have a manager at the time. We've got kind of a, uh, a helper now, but, um, but yeah, it was just kind of the right time to do it. And I thought if we waited any longer, it was definitely not going to happen. So it was kind of, I gave I gave everybody nine months to think about it and uh, told them I call them in nine months. And then they all said yes. As you just mentioned, I guess you're um, you're now playing for a whole generation of kids who were not even born. Some of them during the, you know, the big early '90s reign. Yet they've waited to hear L7 live, which is, you know, very very cool, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, thank goodness for social media and thank goodness for the internet because that, um, you know, like I said, when we were kind of absent from the web. You know, over the years, I saw people starting to post things on YouTube and starting to start fan pages, and it just mm-hmm. grew, you know. And um, and and by the time we started our own Facebook page, it kind of exploded with excitement, and there were all these demands for a reunion, even though that was not the intention at all when I started the Facebook page. It was just to archive our shit, you know. So, um, and then seeing the the enthusiasm was just very, very heartwarming uh, to all of us 